Good morning, BCFC family. It's such a great joy to do devotion with you today. Today, we want to talk about anchors and habits of a Christian. The secret to success is found in your daily anchors. What you do on a daily basis will determine what you have in this life. If you sow into your flesh, the results will never be what you want. But if you sow to the Spirit, you will become stronger and stronger, according to Galatians 6, 8. You will get to that place where you confidently stand your ground, resist the enemy, and receive more from God, no matter what comes your way. Proverbs 8, 34 and 35 says, Blessed is the man who listens to me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post of my doors, for whosoever finds me finds life and obtain favor from the Lord. Establishing anchors will keep you strong, protect you from the enemy, and catapult you to victory. It produces a glorious result. If you want to put an end of being defeated or discouraged or going around the mountain over and over, it's time to take your faith to the next level. Remember though, the key is consistency. If you do good for three days and all of a sudden fall off the bandwagon, no worries, get right back on track. The more you do it, the more it becomes a habit and a lifestyle. So then let's get some anchors and habits established in our lives. Number one, you must feed your spirit. Matthew 4, 4 says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. This verse says we cannot live on just food for our body. We need food for our spirit too. As a Christian, we know the reality of the works of the devil and understand the importance of developing a strong spirit to resist him. How do we feed our spirit? The answer is by reading God's word every day, which helps us as Christians that when we go to church, we just don't go on Sundays. That's not enough. We must arrange our schedule around the word instead of trying to make the word fit into our busy lives, which is giving it priority. Have alone time with God. Whether it's 15 minutes or 60 minutes, just cons con commune and seek Him. Worship and pray. He will give you daily guidance. I'll give you an example of what a pastor said. He said, no word, no breakfast. <laughs> this pastor doesn't eat breakfast until he feeds his spirit with the word of God every morning. You can find your own healthy uh, uh, routine. David encouraged and strengthened himself in the Lord, according to 1 Samuel 30, verse 6. Now, faith is your responsibility. It isn't God's. It isn't your pastor. And it isn't your spouse. The only one who can guarantee that you enjoy a strong faith is you. God has given you the tools you need to develop a strong faith, the kind of faith that moves mountains, shuts the mouth of lions, quenches the flames of fire, turns weakness to strength, and puts whole enemies to flight. This is according to Hebrews 11, 33 and 34. How do you build this kind of faith? I'll tell you. Feeding your spirit with the seed, which is the word of God. Hearing it over and over again is how you water the seed and build faith. Just as with the natural muscles, repetition is the key to building your strong faith. And this is according to Romans 10, 17. As you feed your spirit, remember that faith comes by hearing, but so does doubt. So let's be careful here. So, what are you listening to? What is the news telling you? What are your friends telling you? Guard the precious word you've sown into your heart by refusing to consume anything that is contrary. And this brings us to our third point. 
pray and speak the word of God. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, according to Proverbs 18, 21. You've heard the saying, you are what you eat. But the Bible says, in essence, you are what you speak. Mark eleven twenty three. Practice praying Bible verses. Maybe you can start with the Lord's Prayer. As a Christian, speak the word and only the word over your life and the lives of those around you. When trials come your way, don't be intimidated and let the devil have the final word. Talk back. When the devil tempted Jesus, he answered back. Matthew 4, 1 to 11. How did he answer? With the word and the word only. God uses his word to call those things which are not as though they were. Romans 4 verse 17. And we need to do the same. No matter what you're faced with, speak healing, blessing, abundance, forgiveness, peace. Speak the word over and over. Fire off scriptures. Confess God's word in faith. It will change your life. So, Let's speak the word over our lives today. Nothing is going to happen today that God and I can't handle. I will walk in fear. I Sorry, I will not walk in fear, but I will walk in faith. I am healthy in my body, spirit, and soul. I am debt free in Jesus' name, and blessings are flowing to me. I am not easily offended, but I am mature in Christ. I do not harbor offenses, but I practice forgiveness. I declare Isaiah 54, 13. All of my children will be taught by the Lord. I declare that I will experience God's favor and God's faithfulness. I am smart. I am capable. I am an overcomer. I am confident. I am blessed. And I am a winner in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a great day.